Yes, yeah, Stu, the police say that this deadly shooting took place just in front of this house here behind me. And after investigating for several hours, collecting dozens of pieces of evidence, police say they have no suspects in custody tonight related to the shooting that happened in the middle of the day. The front of this City Park Avenue home is littered with bullet holes. Orlando police say a man was shot and killed here around 2.45 Thursday afternoon. Neighbors describe hearing two separate flurries of gunfire. It almost sounds like something was scraping on the ground, but very, very loud. Could have been automatic because the sound was pretty consistent. People living nearby called 911. West 2 News spoke with a woman who says she is the victim's mother. She tells us her 21-year-old son was shot outside of his own home. She says she left the house just five minutes prior to the shooting. Police believe this was a drive-by shooting and the suspect drove away before they got here. Crime scene investigators used equipment to map out the scene and shell casings are spread out all around the home. The shooting upset many people in this Parkview neighborhood near Mercy Drive. A daycare is close by and children were being dropped off from school to see crime scene tape. Whenever you have somebody that's willing to come use a gun to take another person's life in the middle of the neighborhood. So, you know, those are about as bad of crimes as you, as you can get. Now we got to see inside that garage and it looks like a car and other uh, pieces uh, were damaged from this shooting. A lot of bullets obviously going into that house. Police have not released the description of the suspect nor the car they were driving. We're live in Orlando. Chris Guardaro, WESH 2 News. Chris, thank you.